Do you know who the greatest metal band of all time is? Right here on the Adventure Channel, I'm gonna show you. There they are, the 40th anniversary of The Number of the Beast, the album that started it all, triple vinyl. And on the back, The Beast Over Hammersmith. Let's do that review. Pretty cool introduction, wasn't it? And we're gonna do this today, actually, on the back of my car. Look, there's my other YouTube channel. Have you subscribed yet? Go take a look. Here's the box, and look what we got, kids. The Beast Over Hammersmith. Oh my goodness. Triple vinyl, triple gatefold. And look what we have, the original album here, the one that started it all, March 1982, the 40th anniversary. Your hype sticker right here, very important. And the 40th anniversary sticker right here. You guys ready? Let's get started. One of the really cool things that you're first seeing on the hype sticker, as you guys can see, is you get three heavyweight vinyl actual albums, eight remastered tracks, and that's the intended track list. It has total eclipse on it. And the Beast Over Hammersmith, which was live. And I think it was recorded three days before this album was released in March of uh, 1982. This being the actual recording right here on the vinyl. You guys ready to take a look? Let's open this thing up. All right. Looking good so far. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I understand it's a triple gatefold like I was hyping. Yeah, there we go. Let's start over here at the beginning. And there are liner notes by Steve Harris. Message from Ari. Of course there is. Some pictures from back then. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. Wow. Steve Harris. I believe you've heard of him. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look at what we... There's, there's Eddie. This is the actual uh, Run to the Hills single cover. If you have it uh, in your inventory, which I used to, sold it on my eBay store. But there's the Hammersmith Odeon, which Bruce Dickinson, by the way, compared to the Fox Theater in Atlanta when I saw them in concert way back in 1988. So let's take a look inside. Okay, on your left side, beautiful picture of the band. I wonder if that was taken outside of the Hammersmith um, that day. But on the back here, as you can see, the number of the beast, this is the original back cover, but the picture is different. Remember the picture of the band back here was slightly different uh, than this one. And we do have our original track listing. There's Total Eclipse. Very, very cool. There's the thanks people, the famous verse. By the way, if you guys know who spoke the verse on the album, let me know in the comments. That's an Iron Maiden trivia question. The record, of course, in here, heavyweight vinyl. There we go. And this has been changed, as you can see. This used to be completely different on the original cover. There's that, beautiful. And that's the number of the Beast single uh, cover from the original single. Very, very impressive. Okay, everybody, look, coming out this side, we have part two of our triple gate fold. Uh, members of the band, hello to all you Earth Dogs. And this was uh, part of the original program, I believe. Adrian's guitar gear right here. Adrian's signature. Sorry, it's not real, but there's Dave Murray. Wonderful pictures from the tour on the back side. Here's Bruce. These are notes from the actual band, one of Bruce's signatures. Clive Burr, RIP Clive, great drummer, did such a great job on this album. Yeah, there you go. And then Ari, there's our man right there. There he is. He had the machine gun picture, and there's his signature, which I actually do have. Got to meet him in February of 2020, Savannah, Georgia. There is this beautiful, beautiful inlay, which I've never seen. Let's see what the uh, actual record looks like in here. There we go. This is the Beast Over Hammersmith. This is side one here. No, I'm sorry. This is side three and side four. Murders in the Rue Morgue, Wrathchild. You can see your track listing there. Really, really nice right here. Wow. So there's one, and this is heavyweight vinyl, 180 grams. Absolutely beautiful. 
Ooh, let's check this side out right there. Here's our triple one, the third one. And of course, uh, I made a mistake earlier. Um, side three is the live album. So you have side three, four, five, six. So they're assuming uh, the beast is sides one and two, which I now get the track listing. Let's get the sequence correct. So there's your live recording from Hammersmith. Everything you see right there. A lot of songs they hadn't played in years. Picture of the actual band plus Eddie. Here's our big guy leaning on him. This is the inside sleeve, of course. Here's the special thanks from those days. And here's something I really like, look at this. This is the Beast on the Road World Tour. This is the whole thing. The start of it, which is February the 25th, 1982. Look at this. You guys can hit pause and find your own town. I missed them, you know, I was very, very young in those days, but I was a fan. This was the first album I ever bought by the band. And there you are. Opening, I believe, for the Scorpions on this tour. They were not headlining in America, although they did headline a few shows. But there you go. Let's take a look at that vinyl right here. There we go. Once again, Eddie Hammersmith, and you flip it. There's side five and side six. Now that I know the complete track listing, very, very nice. Beautiful vinyl. Boy, I hadn't bought vinyl. I think the last time I actually bought an actual record that was brand new was 1988. Isn't that great? Unbelievable, folks. Close it up right there. Close it up right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. The Number of the Beast, the 40th anniversary. The Beast over Hammersmith, never on vinyl. And now you have it. And by the way, a special shout out to my buddy Bart. Huge, huge Maiden fan. Going to be traveling overseas next year with his awesome wife. Always like Brandy. They're going to Antwerp and Amsterdam to see the band on the Future Past Tour next year. And also my good pal Happy, who told me this used to be her very favorite album. Well, I'm right there with you, my dear. Same here. Iron Maiden, the number of the beast. The beast over Hammersmith. 40th anniversary, kids. Yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed the uh, the video and the review of it. Um, this album brings back so many memories for me. Um, I did buy it when I was very young, right when it first came out, $7.33 in those days for the big time vinyl. And um, it was just amazing. And that set me off on my journey for really loving this band. Greatest metal band of all time. Hope you enjoyed this review. Highly recommended to all you Maiden guys around the world. Up the irons, share this with everybody. It's a wonderful investment. It's a collector's item. It's not going to be around long and it is going to sell out. See you next time.